What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and I saw something posted from one of the great storytellers of the Star Wars Expanded Universe in regards to his future with Star Wars. And it just makes me so upset at what a big opportunity Disney and Lucasfilm are missing by not capitalizing on great authors like this who want to write for them, who want to write Legends stories. And that person is right here, Drew Karpishin. Now, if you don't know who Drew Karpishin is, he, you may have played a game that he wrote, uh, KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic, was Drew Karpishin's story, and then he was also an author for the Expanded Universe. He wrote the Darth Bane trilogy. Uh, if you haven't checked those out, I highly recommend it. I will link two book reviews. I haven't done the third book review yet, which I need to get on, for Darth Bane, Path of Destruction, and Darth Bane, Rule of Two. Highly recommend those books if you're a fan of Star Wars and if you're a fan of the Sith. But he also wrote a couple novels in Star Wars The Old Republic, helped craft Star Wars The Old Republic MMO game. He, his hands are all over the Star Wars expanded universe in the Old Republic era. But he's responding to someone who says this. Drew Karpishin, hey man, I'm sure I'm not at all the first or the last to ask, but are you going to write any more Star Wars Sith novels? The Bane lineage and Revan stuff is amazing. Please, you're our only hope. Drew Karpishin answers. He says, unfortunately, it's not up to me. I've reached out a few times, but it seems like they are focused on other things right now. You gotta realize, this person is someone who gave them one of the most marketable Star Wars characters to this day, and that is Darth Revan. That is Drew Karpishin's creation. Uh, Darth Bane, everyone knows the name Darth Bane as well. Again, Drew Karpishin is the one who made his story into a real legend. And the fact that Disney and Lucasfilm don't want him writing books for them is just an absolute shame. And you can look at some of these responses. There's uh, Toxic Brood right there. That's a shame. You, James Lucino, and Timothy Zahn are the reason that you flourish. Even if we never get another novel, your work will cher be cherished by fans like me for forever. Thank you, Drew. Would love some more of your Star Wars themed parachamins. Disney is the bane of Star Wars. I hope they let you write more Bane. I would love to see what Zana and Cognus end up doing. And Drew Carpachan has said so himself. He would love to write a Darth Zana story, the apprentice of Darth Bane, who defeated him uh, in the process of the Rule of Two. That is what so many people want to see, the continuation of that story, to see the lineage of the Rule of Two continue. Uh, and he wants to write, but Disney and Lucasfilm have said no, because they don't want any more Legends content. But ironically, they're still using Legends content in their marketing. This, a lot of people are so excited for this. Funko Pop coming only to GameStop. Now, you may know how I feel about Funko Pops. I absolutely hate them. I think they are the bane, no pun intended, of toys. I, I despise them. However, the fact that Revan and Malik. Two of Drew Karpishin's creations for KOTOR are in this, and two of the most beloved Star Wars characters is very telling, and the excitement generated by it was not missed on so many people. I want to take a look at this article from MovieWeb. Star Wars video game Funko Pop figures include Revan and Darth Malak. It seems a couple of Legends characters might be welcomed back into the official Star Wars canon, or at, le or at the least, fans of Darth Revan and Darth Malak can get their hands on some Funko Pop figures later this year featuring the iconic characters from KOTOR. Additionally, Funko is bringing a new Yoda and Shadow Trooper to stores. Should be noted that Shadow Trooper is from Force Unleashed, again, an expanded universe game, a Legends game, and then Yoda from Battlefront. As revealed, blah, 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 they talk about this. This is noteworthy, given that Lucasfilm tends to avoid making products featuring Legends characters. Lucasfilm reset the canon following the Disney purchase in 2012, meaning many of the old stories no longer count in the galaxy far, far away. Uh, the Stormtrooper, okay. However, Darth, Revan, and Malak are two hugely important characters that have deep ties to Sith lore. The events in Knights of the Republic takes place thousands of years before the original trilogy. Revan is at the center of the tale as a Jedi who defied the Jedi Council to fight in the Mandalorian Wars aside his apprentice, Malak. The pair ultimately fell to the dark side, adopting the Sith names Darth, Revan, and Darth Malak. Even though current canon is yet to fully confirm that either character exists, well, not quite. Again, I made a story about this when it came out in, I believe it was the, the visual dictionary for the Rise of Skywalker, but we had this little thing here where it talked about the Sith legions and that they were named after Sith. One of them did, in fact, that third legion 
was named after Revan. Now, that doesn't mean that Revan in Disney canon is anything like the Revan that we had in Legends, but it does confirm that the name and that he was a Sith. Is that just a little Easter egg to make people happy? I don't know, but we have heard a lot of rumors about the potential of a KOTOR remake or a KOTOR TV show even. So that'll get we'll get into that in just a second. Even though the current canon is yet to fully confirm that either character exists, they remain hugely popular within the diehard Star Wars fan base. An Easter egg in The Last Jedi hinted the existence of Revan, which would seem to imply that Darth Malak was a part of the picture in the days of old as well. But again... This is yet to be fully confirmed in a canon story. Normally, a pop figure is just something fun, but given the importance of Revan and Malak, these toys take on a new meaning. It's also important to note there have been consistent reports and rumors that Lucasfilm was developing a Knights of the Old Republic project. It was expected that the movie trilogy Benioff and Weiss were set to produce would have taken place in the Old Republic era. They departed it. It was also previously reported that this person, Alita Battle Angel, had been tapped to write a movie based on the video game series last year. And a rumor that a new video game, a remaster of a sequel, or also a retelling, is in the works. But, the, the idea... That's the frustrating thing, is the idea that they know how marketable these characters are. In fact, they have this coming out. I pre-ordered this already. The Black Series Darth Revan Force FX Elite Lightsaber. I'm super stoked to get my hands on a Legends character's lightsaber. And you know they like to use these characters for marketing. The Darth Revan Black Series is still one of the most valuable ones you can find out there. But they won't let Drew Karpishin write more stories from it. Why is that the case? I would love it if they brought people like Drew Karpishin back on. People like James Luceno back on to craft what the future could be for Star Wars Legends. And when we used to go, and I want to thank the person who tagged me as well. Let's see if I can find it. Darth Bane right here on Twitter. Shout out for tagging me in this so I was actually able to see it. Uh, and I responded, I appreciate you tagging me. Mr. Carpishan's one of the greatest Star Wars authors ever. And the fact that this was the response is a shame. We need to keep pushing Lucasfilm to allow more legend stories to be told because I think Star Wars, and I misspelled it, what an idiot. I said Stow, Stow Wars. God, I'm dumb. Deserve a great Zana story. And one of the things I used to do is I used to go to Star Wars books. So Del Rey, who is the people that make Star Wars books, and ask them periodically when we are going to get more legend stories. It's something I haven't done in a long time, and it's something I'm going to start doing. Um, I'm going to start at least once a week, just going over to a Star Wars Del Rey post and saying, hey, are there any plans to be making future Legends content? I would really like to see blank. I'm going to start doing that. And if you want to see more of the Star Wars Expanded Universe, I would recommend you do that too. Just nice and politely ask uh, and let them know that you are still interested in Legend Stories. Specifically, talk about Drew Karpishan even, since he is someone who has come out to them. Say, I know Drew Karpishan's interested in making a story. I would love to see a Darth Xana book set in the Legends timeline. But I just thought it was interesting and really disappointing that an author has even reached out to ask to make content for them, Legends content. And they said, nah, we're not interested. I think there's a lot of people that would really love for Drew Carpishan to come back and, and write more stories set in the Old Republic timeline. But let me know what you guys think about all of this. Is this something that you would like to see going forward? Do you have any interest in, you know, maybe going along with me and letting Del Rey know, letting Star Wars books know that we want more legends? Let me know in the comments. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well, and I'll talk to you guys later.